ripen all other fruits. So you cannot put the very ripe bananas up here with the oranges and the lemons or else all of these are gonna go bad all at once. I don't know if that's true. Look it up. Survey says. So if I Google putting bananas with fruits, they go bad wrong. They go bad quickly. <laughs> that's what you're gonna type in Google? Yeah, the whole paragraph. <laughs> But yes, the answer is yes. So if I put bananas in with fruits, the bananas go bad. The bananas will cause the other fruits to ripen at a faster rate because it's whatever the bananas give off. And that's proven or is this some like Bahamas Island Girl thing? First of all. I mean, there's a lot of theories. In, first of all. In the islands. No, that's a that's, that's given. So if it's I, proven if I, and it's an island thing. Like uh, if you want fruits to ripen, you can put them in a paper bag with a banana and it'll help your fruit to ripen faster, like mangoes and stuff like that, avocado. And it's not just the time that it takes to ripe. It actually enhances the time to ripe. Yes, speeds up that rate. Hi, Dan Dan. Are you ready to go to grandma's? We are packing up to take this little one to my parents' house. Packing up to take this little one to my parents' house. <laughs> Bryce, last night, we went to parents last night um, and he was watching his iPad and sleeping in my parents' bed. We're about to fall asleep, so we just left because because we were just coming. We were coming back in the morning to drop them off anyway because Christina and I are going to um, go hiking and just having a mommy daddy day. He used to stay over Grandma's house with no hesitation, and lately it's been no. I'm going home with mommy and daddy. So last night we just left him. I mean, we said I love you and. We didn't necessarily say goodbye, so we kind of tricked him. Um, makes me sad, man. So my mom called at like 10 o'clock at yeah, 10 p.m., which is very late for him. Um, he woke up kicking and screaming and yelling on the floor and crying once Grandma told him that we weren't there. And he was screaming, they left me. They left me. So that did not make us feel good last night. So we'll see what happens when we see him this morning. We are going to um, go have a mommy daddy day. And we're gonna go hiking, hopefully, if anything's open. And we're gonna get Starbucks coffee, which daddy's happy about. I mean, I love our coffee here, but. Don't talk bad about our coffee machine. What kind of, what is that? Why is it preen? That's why I wanted to see if it still looks like that. Yeah, it looks Doesn't like... it smell good? Yeah, you look great. You look great. <laughs> you weren't gonna tell me that. <laughs> this is mommy's hiking gear. So I've never been hiking. This is exactly what you should in wear the hiking. Desert. I don't believe it is, but Brian actually told me, oh, you're gonna be too hot. You in are this gonna outfit. be too hot. It's 95 degrees. I already have on shorts and a crop top. Yeah. So what do people go hiking in, Brian? You gotta put this down a little bit. It's higher than this side. You're gonna sweat, we're gonna be in the heat, and then this is gonna start popping up, and you're gonna ruin our video shots. You didn't answer me, so what do people go hiking in when it's hot outside? Um, no, you're, you're good, you're fine. I'm just being, I'm making fun. You look cute, I can look at, it, I can look at you all day. Dan Dan, do you like mommy's outfit? Think, think, think. Yeah. Give me that binky. <laughs> Give me that binky. Also, fun fact, I think I have a contact in my eye and I don't know where it is. So wait, you didn't find it? I did not find it. I'm pretty sure it's still in there. It'll, it'll pop out. What do you mean? Where'd it go? In your head? It's in my eye somewhere. Like in your... I don't understand that. When people say I can't find my contact, like where does it go? Oh my goodness, I mean, this is two months. I can fix it out of Jordan's. I'm pretty. Hello, 
Hi, Bryce. Hi, Daddy. How are you? Good. Are you eating a yummy breakfast? Tell her what you ate. I ate. Is it French toast? I ate French toast. Oh, you did. I love you. I love, I love you. you. He's having his peaches. He had French toast, bacon, now he's having peaches. Oh, oh, Hi, baby. Thank you, what did you give mommy? Thank you so much. Let me see. It's from Bryce. You got oh, mommy a flower. Oh, Bryce, that's Thank so you, Bryce. nice. I love it. It's Saturday. Even though every day is the same, we are heading up to Red Rock. Because I've been begging Brian to take me up there. Since what is Red Rock? It's a Red Rock. Red Rock Canyon is a part of Las Vegas, really close from the Las Vegas Strip. I mean, you can literally get there in 30 minutes. That sign just said Red Rock temporarily closed. We're still going to go check it out because we just want to get out of the house. Um, it's a really beautiful part of Vegas where they have trails and hiking and all that jazz. Um, and we're gonna go check it out. We dropped off the De babies Jordan this morning, and Bryce, uh, as you saw, forgot all about last night about us leaving him. So that's a good thing until he realizes that we left again without him. But we told him we were going to the store for four hours. Uh, <sighs> the tall tales you tell you. But it's, it's worth it because, like, it, if we were to say, hey, Pricey, we're leaving, there's so many questions that come behind that. All the trails are closed at Red Rock. So um, there's a bunch of people, like, pulled off to the side of the road and just walking and making their own trails. Um, but they're all rattlesnakes out here. And I was telling Christina um, that I'm like deathly terrified of snakes. Well, I guess if you live in a place where there are like dangerous, murderous snakes, um, you should be afraid. But I'm from the Bahamas and we don't have those kind of killing snakes. Where are all these people going? So they park. And then they just walk the road. And then they walk, yeah because you can't drive. So there's this thing called the scenic loop, which Brian had, what is this? Oh, they're walking that way. Why did you get us a Batmobile? We're still in the car, still looking for a spot to park and then hike from. It doesn't look good because there is everybody and their brother trying to do the same thing we're doing. To be outside, it's a beautiful day. But all these paths are are people jumping that fence? Is that what's happening? They're going around some of them. Got their little bikes. But mommy don't know how to ride a bike. Oh yeah, Christina doesn't know how to ride a bike. She's 57 years old. Yeah, I'm 57. Because I lived on a hill my entire life. And my sister and brother um, decided to take some risks when they were younger. And they were um, riding their bikes. They crashed into banana trees and scraped up their legs and knees. So by the time I came along, my parents were like, nope, no that bicycle. Girl was on a mini skirt going hiking. I don't believe it. She had a mini skirt on. Okay, so maybe my outfit isn't so bad. But yeah, I cannot ride a bike. I have attempted riding a bike before, and this was also the last time I went hiking in North Carolina. We had a class trip, and we went to... Are you talking about like 18 years ago? How old am I? I can't believe you don't know how to ride a bike. It's like, it's it's hard to fathom you don't know how to ride a bike. <laughs> and I'm not laughing. Bryce doesn't know how to ride a bike either, okay? So there. So there. Two, two and a half. Um, Do yeah. not feed wild horses and burros. $500 million fine. Not million. Not million. When we were little, my parents used to take me and my brother up here and there's a bunch of different stops along the, the road that you can take different trails. And when you're a kid, 
it would all there would always be donkeys out here, like alongside the road. So it was always exciting for a kid to see the donkeys. And then one time we were pulling up to like a group of them. What would be a group of donkeys be called? I don't know. I'll have to Google it. Pack. And I That's would, a wolf. It probably isn't a pack, but right, I would so, add it to my um, list of. So my mom and dad, Useless instead trivia. of what usually happens is, oh, there's the donkeys. Let's pull over. You could feed them back in the day. Um, we would want to obviously see them up close. So mom and dad said, no, we're going to go past these ones. And I couldn't understand why. My brother's a little older. I even remember, like, I vaguely remember my mom probably covering my eyes. And it's nothing bad. They weren't dying or anything. But <laughs> one of the donkeys, one of his legs, his fifth leg, was dragging on the ground. It wasn't a tail. It wasn't a leg. And it wasn't a leg. It was gra was dragging on the ground as he walked. That poor donkey. So, I think I, again, vaguely remember saying something like his tail or something like that. I think my brother was even a little bit too young to kind of like be involved in a fifth leg issue. <laughs> that was a, uh, it had to be a deformity. That can't be fun. No, that poor donkey. He couldn't do anything. He couldn't run. He couldn't Ugh. skip. He couldn't jump. Remember when we were in the car? I said Brian was taking me to Red Rock and I was excited because I'd been asking him to take me to Red Rock. He did not take me to Red Rock. There's a pandemic. A pandemic. Unprecedented. He took me hiking in a residential area. No, I mean, it's still a. Show the people. It's still a good mountain. And we park really close to the people road. <laughs> so, let's hope the car is okay. But this is where we are. Trail. We're getting some cardio in. I'm already tired. It's really hot. It's May. It's not even summertime yet. How do y'all do this? Like, how did y'all have recess at school? Well, you don't care when you're a kid. You just go out there, get sweaty, get hot. Get burn up. Yeah. We need to talk about this um, fighting vernacular we were talking about when we were in the car about getting your head mushed up what does that mean no if you get mushed yeah what does that mean that means like instead of somebody hitting you or smacking you they just mush you like they grab your head and mush you so they push you no mush I am getting out of breath. <laughs> it's still pretty. We're not even far from where we parked. <laughs> I was telling him, I don't know what it is to get mush. In the Bahamas, we know about getting your head whap off. Getting your head whap up. Park? Getting burst in your head. Park in your head, yeah. But I don't know what getting mush in your head is. This is crazy. <sighs> it's hot. Hiking will really, like it'll tell you instantly that you're out of shape. We're out of shape. We had babies though. We had babies. That's why we're you should have more ankle support on your shoes. Your hiking shoe should be stronger than that. Do you want to show your shoes? I mean, I got, okay. <laughs> but I mean. Okay. But look, you're going over rocks. You're going over rocks and everything and like you should have more I've cushion. Look how much cushion I have. I've got the bubbles on my feet. You can have a rock or a nail. No. Or a thorn go straight through those, those running shoes. You need better equipment. Ugh. You need better equipment if we're gonna go hiking. I got dress shorts on with a belt. Well, be careful. After you told me I was not appropriately dressed. 
I pointed out your outfit. This is bad. Why would y'all put all these rocks on here? Huh? Why would y'all put all these rocks It's a wash. It's probably where water comes down. Probably not. No, you think you think people brought rocks up here and put it in this path? That's graffiti. That's graffiti all on the rocks. What? What kind of hiking trip is this? Oh, a little trash. I'll tell you what, my calves are burning. Let's see how. Let's see our progress. Goodness gracious. Go ahead and pose. I think iPhone would be better for this still photos. You had that thing sitting out like you was on the couch. Okay, we just got done taking a few photos. Mommy was being the model from H E L L. Like it's, I know we're not a, you know, I'm not a professional photographer and mommy's not a professional model, but I get it. Like when you hear the stories of the photographers saying that their models are just very irritable when being asked to move a finger or like, hey, one hair's out of place. I get it now. It gets crazy. We just went through it. It's not necessarily our fifth fight because we were laughing the whole time, but we called each other some names. Mm -mm. Um, no one's gonna believe that, Brian. No, but not our names are like you meanie. <laughs> yeah. You're being ruthless. You're I thought she was nice. gonna cry for a little bit. I was, I, I was being nice. It. I thought about it. <laughs> you were. <laughs> I did. You were not gonna cry. Um, so this is the perfect IG analysis right we're not going to give you the bs we're going to tell you where we actually were and we are i mean that's an ikea right there ikea there's the strip there's a park that's our car way down there um we are not at a national park where most would he probably sold me a dream it's closed we're in a pandemic but look what mommy had to stand up it's a little nasty out here but we got a little hike in we got some burn in our calves and uh we're going i'm ready to get in the pool how about you yeah bahamas you can't see it it looks like baham there it is we're up in the bahamas Where'd you put it? Oh, here. Put it in my husband's hand. Here. Can I have some water? <laughs> All her, by the way. All right, but we had fun though. It was good while it lasted. Maybe Ready. one day my husband will take me on a real hike in a real national park in the United States of America. Absolutely, not during a real pandemic. This is crazy, I get stuff. I'm getting uh, reprimanded for not breaking the law. Like, is, that, is that how to say that? I don't know, yeah. But it is really pretty up here. Like this is overlooking all of Las Vegas. It's pretty cool to see. So that was a hiking fail. We still had fun though. We did have fun. We had a little bit of a row, but we had fun. Tell um, the people what a row is. We didn't row. You 
Well, there was a, a was funny. portion of a row because um, Christina becomes a diva model. No. Nope. No one believes it. Um, and it was hot and she was a little irritable and she was standing on glass. I mean, it's normal. And Brian told me that we were going to Red Rock and we did not go to Red Rock. She did research the night before that said it was closed, but there were some trails that were still open. And we saw so people. So I went off of your information. And we saw people who were walking. Hmm? We saw people who were like on trails. Look, I don't want to be negative. I thought it was a, I thought it was a great day. We got out of the house. I love my babies, but you know, we needed a couple hours away from the madness and it was, yeah. it was good. We got Very some good pictures, hot. more pictures to come. Maybe you can even show one right, right here. Like it on Instagram. Yes. But it was very hot. Right now the car says it's 96 degrees. I'm about to go jump in the pool. Um, I'm right, about to eat lunch. Eat lunch and then jump in the pool, yeah. Enjoy your day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give us a thumbs up if you liked it. And a subscribe. <laughs> In my eye. Um, and comment and let us know what other videos you want to see from us. Bye, everyone. Thank you.